Hey what's up guys? Today I'll show you a horror film, The Privilege. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie starts with a young boy, named Finn, playing video games inside their mansion. Finn's parents are in a rush to leave the mansion. While the parents are not home, something weird starts happening. The knives in the kitchen suddenly appear on the countertop, the doors and gates of the mansion unlocked by themselves, and Finn hears his older sister struggling upstairs. Finn goes to Anna's room to check on her, sees her panicking with a knife in her hand, and with blood coming out of her mouth. Anna points the knife to Finn, and asks him to open his mouth. Finn refuses and decides to get the knife from Anna. The siblings decide to leave the mansion by driving away. But as they are on their way to the car, a mysterious figure appears behind them, and this makes them run towards their car. While Anna is driving, she suddenly stops the car on a dam, and goes over the guard railings to call Finn to come with her. Finn follows Anna, and she tells him to let go of the railing, and fall over the dam. Finn refuses and kicks Anna, making her fall over the dam and die. Soon, Finn's parents arrive on the dam, and their mother starts becoming frantic when she sees her children. The dad runs to Finn, and sees the knife in his hand. He then proceeds to ask Finn about what happened and if he was hurt. Finn refuses to answer. The rescuers recover Anna's body, and the parents are now crying beside the body of Anna. Finn comes closer to the sister's body and starts shouting. Finn is now in high school, and he is seeing doctors help him deal with his sister's death, which caused him brain damage. Finn tells his doctor about the mysterious figure that appeared on the night of his sister's death, but the doctor does not believe him. Finn continues to do tests that will help him with his trauma. The doctors give Finn his medicine and ask him to go with his younger sister, Sophie. The next day, Finn sneaks out of their mansion and goes to a party with his friend, Lena. His younger sister is also there at the party with her boyfriend. While others have funs, Finn just watches the partygoers dance to the music. However, Finn starts hallucinating due to the medication he took. He sees his dead sister and the knife in his hand. He also sees blood all over the other partygoers as they dance. The next morning, Finn wakes up with a headache, and his mother makes him a smoothie. Finn leaves and drives to see his sick grandfather. In the hospital, Finn's grandfather asks Finn to pray for him, as he is going to surgery soon. As Finn is walking in the hospital hallway, he hears breathing and follows it. He then sees an old woman lying on a bed, and having a hard time breathing. He proceeds to go to the dam where Anna died. He sits near the water, and thinks about what happened. Later that night, Finn overhears his parents talking about him being ready for something. They also say that Finn and Sophie are going to be okay, as they are stronger than Anna. After drinking his medication, Lena calls Finn, and he tells her that his parents think that he is crazy, and that he would be like his sister, Anna. Finn wakes up in the middle of the night, because of noises he hears downstairs. He sees his parents and Sophie with guests in their living room. Sophie takes her clothes off, and an old woman starts touching her. Finn sees this and gets an axe. But before he could do anything, something happens to him, and he loses consciousness. When Finn wakes up, his mother tells him that he is sleepwalking again. Finn tells everyone what he saw before losing consciousness, but everyone, including Sophie, denies everything. The next morning, Finn hears moaning from Sophie's room, and proceeds to check her room. Finn sees a monster holding Sophie against the door of her closet, but as Finn opens the door, he finds Sophie completely okay. The next day in school, Finn tells Lena that what he saw in the living room was not a dream. He thinks that whatever his family and the guests were doing last night was real. He's also worried that whatever happened to Anna might happen to Sophie too. Weird things are happening now that Sophie is 18 and Anna died when she was 18. Right when Lena tries to console Finn, Sophie arrives and starts shouting at her boyfriend, telling him not to touch her hormones ever again. In PE class, Sophie's boyfriend tells Finn that the new pills she is taking might be the reason why she is acting strange. While the two are talking, Sophie's nose starts bleeding, and she falls from a rope. At home Finn sees Sophie making a mug move, without touching it at all. However, Finn does not know what to do with this information. Sophie's boyfriend arrives at their home, but Sophie does not want to see him. Sophie's mother asks the boyfriend to leave. Fearing for Sophie's safety, Finn decides to watch over her during the night. As he sits by the couch in Sophie's room, a mysterious figure appears to be observing Finn from under the couch. Soon after, Sophie reveals herself and tells Finn that he is just overreacting. She's fine, and what happened to Anna will not happen to her. Finn heads back to his room and receives a text from Sophie's boyfriend, saying that Sophie and Finn are in great danger and that they should meet in person at the diner right now. 
At the diner, Sophie's boyfriend waits for Finn. He is also holding the medications that the twins are taking. The boyfriend hears a commotion outside, and follows the sound. There, he sees an old woman lying down on the floor. The old woman opens her eyes, and the boyfriend goes flying across the room. The old woman proceeds to strangle, and ultimately kill him. Finn arrives at the diner, and looks for Sophie's boyfriend, but cannot find him anywhere. So he calls his phone, and follows the sound of the ringtone, only to find his dead body lying on top of a car. Finn turns around, and sees the same mysterious creature that he saw the night that Anna died. This freaks him out and makes him run. The police and Finn's father arrive at the scene, and the police think that the boyfriend's death is the result of a suicide. Finn disagrees and believes that something or someone killed Sophie's boyfriend. Finn insists that he was murdered, although the police show him CCTV footage of the people in the diner that night, and Finn is the main suspect, as the older woman is believed not capable of hurting anyone. That night at their house, Finn discovers something weird inside his medication. The next day in school, he tells Lena about this, saying that it looks like a worm, and it grows as well. So the two bring it to a science teacher, who says that it is a fungus that grows on dead bodies. The teacher also gives them a calling card from someone expert in the fungi. Lena does research on the fungi, and sees that it was used in the Middle Ages, as hallucinogens by witches and shamans. They believe that the fungi opened doors to the paranormal world. As Finn is about to contact the fungi expert, his crush girl, Samira, talks to him, and asks if he wants to study biology with her in the afternoon, Finn agrees. After school Lena and Finn decide to see the fungi expert. When she sees the fungi in the bottle, she gets worried, and immediately asks them to come with her. The expert asks Finn if he touched the fungi, Finn says he swallowed it. The expert instructs Finn to look at her eyes, and he remembers and sees the death of Anna all over again, and the expert also appears to be troubled. After this, Finn coughs up the fungi inside him. The expert is worried about Finn's sister Sophie, and tells Finn that they should get the fungi out of Sophie immediately, or she will get hurt, like how the fungi hurt his older sister Anna. Finn is done with all the bullshit, so he declines the expert's offer, and instead, he goes directly to the hospital to see his sick grandfather. In the hospital, Finn asks his grandfather if he experienced any demonic possession during his time as a pastor. The grandfather admits that he did. In the past, a young boy was very sick, and the doctors could not do anything, so the family asked the grandfather to perform an exorcism. The grandfather agreed, and saw something that changed everything. While waiting for his grandfather's surgery to finish, Finn experiences weird energy in the hallway, doors start to open, and he follows them. It leads to the operating room of his grandfather, where he sees black particles coming out of his grandfather. He starts worrying and panicking, banging on the door of the operating room. He breaks the glass of the door, and sees the mysterious creature behind him. No one can see all of this, but Finn. Suddenly everything is back to normal. The black particles and the creature disappear, and Finn is asked to leave the operating room. Because of what he saw, Finn decides to call the fungi expert. Finn arrives at home, and finds Samira waiting for him. Soon after, Lena arrives, and then the expert and her son arrive as well. Immediately after going inside, the expert feels that something is not right. As the expert heads upstairs, she sees Anna's picture, and tells Finn that Anna wants to protect Finn all the time. The expert tells Finn that they need to expel the creature inside her. The expert and her son set up a device that is used to communicate with creatures. She instructs them not to say anything, and if the creature shows itself, they should not look at it. After that, the expert drinks the medication of Finn, and tries to summon the creatures that haunt the family. The creature soon responds, saying that Sophie belongs to it. The expert challenges the creature, and it destroys the communication device. The creature appears, and everyone does not look at it. Ultimately, the creature attacks the expert, and tells them that they will all die. Suddenly, Finn's parents arrive at home, so the expert and her son have to leave. Finn and the two girls spend the night in an abandoned pool. Samira wakes up in the middle of the night, and hears Finn coming back from the bathroom. She gets surprised, because someone is currently holding her hand. She thinks that it is Finn, apparently, it is the creature. The three decide to go to the expert, and finish the ritual that has been cut short, due to the parents' sudden arrival. When they arrive at the house of the expert, they have already left, and the phone lines have been cut as well. The three head to school to lower the suspicion of the parents. While in PE class, a classmate starts throwing up, and he asks Finn to just leave him alone. The classmate proceeds to go on top of the school building, with a knife in his hand, and desperately wants something out of him. He then jumps off of the building. Finn rushes to his classmate, the classmate grabs his hand, and looks straight into Finn's eyes. 
Samira and Finn decide to accompany their classmate in the ambulance, and during the ride, they see a small creature inside the mouth of their classmate, which the paramedic took out. During the commotion that their classmate caused, Lena retrieves the packaging of the suspicious medication, named Trichazepam. Lena does her research and learns that it is an experimental drug and that the reviews online are very bad. People say that it causes nightmares, anxiety, and even opening the gates of hell. Lena then immediately goes to the launch of the drug and sees that it promises a lot of good things, such as high concentration and better social interaction. Unfortunately for Lena, Finn's father is present at the launch and sees her. The same woman who was with Sophie's boyfriend when he died, tries to approach Lena at the launch. Lena loiters around, trying to find evidence of foul play. She ultimately stumbles upon a room filled with dying and dead people, in which the fungi are being grown on and harvested. She sees the expert as one of the bodies in the room. She then makes a run for it to get away from that damn place. Fortunately, Lena gets into her car, although the old woman again shows herself, being very suspicious of her. Still, Lena gets away in her car. On the other side, Samira and Finn check each other's mouths for any sign of the creature, that they found inside their classmate's mouth, but there are none found. After this, they look inside their classmate's bag and find a folder. They are shocked to discover that Finn, Sophie, Anna, Samira, and the classmate who jumped the building previously, are all adopted. We can surmise that the unknown creatures adopt humans, and use fungus-containing drugs to breed and control the human vessels for further uses. Meanwhile, Samira and Finn get the news that their classmate is dead. The classmate's father tells the two that Finn is adopted, and so is his father. Finn's grandfather helped the very sick young boy, who turned out to be Finn's father. The grandfather then founded the Tronthal group, which creates Trichazepam, the suspicious drug. He also tells Finn that being part of this group is a privilege of the elites. After learning that, Finn and Samira head to see Finn's grandfather. Unfortunately, when they get there, Finn's grandfather has already died. While Finn is looking at his grandfather, a man has attacked him and drugged him from behind. Finn wakes up tied up on a chair, with drugs hooked on him, and he also sees Samira tied up beside him. Finn is confused, asking his doctor what is going on, but the doctor only says that this is the time for Finn. Finn is now then brought to a different room, where his parents, Sophie, and other people are clapping their hands as he enters the room. Finn's father explains that his body will be surrendered to them, and this is a great honor for everyone around Finn. Sophie adds that he will not be hurt, and they will take care of his body. Finn's mom reveals that a demon will live inside Finn, and that the medication Finn is taking, is part of the preparation for the demon to transition into Finn's body. It is also revealed that the demon lived inside Finn's grandfather. But now that the grandfather is dead, Finn will take his place. Finn is now being prepared for the transition. A cut is now made on the roof of his mouth, and the grandfather is shocked back to life. Back upstairs where Samira is still tied up, Lena comes and unties her, and asks what happened to them. As the transition begins, everyone in the room sits down, and holds on a metal pole, and proceeds to open their mouths. As they open their mouths, black particles come flying out. The grandfather now straddles Finn, and he also opens his mouth, again releasing black particles, but this time right inside Finn's mouth. As this is happening, Lena suddenly runs down, and pours gas all over the people inside the room, hits the grandfather in the head, and lights the place on fire. She then releases Finn from the restraints, although she is attacked by a doctor. But Finn successfully stabs the doctor. As the two are about to start running, Finn grabs a pair of tweezers, and pulls out a creature on the roof of his mouth. Then suddenly Lena gets suspended in the air, only to be dropped. As they are about to reach outside the house, Finn activates the gas, causing the burning mansion to blow up. After that, Finn, Lena, and Samira meet inside the car. As they are about to leave, Sophie appears in front of them, and tells Finn not to let her die like their older sister. Finn then tells Samira to go and run Sophie over. As the three are planning where to go, the car starts malfunctioning, and the demon appears inside the car, causing the car to crash on the railings of the same dam where Anna died. Lena gets out, but Samira loses consciousness. Finn pulls her out in time, right before the car falls off the dam and explodes. Some while later, Samira gains consciousness, and Finn comforts her with his tongue. Lena calls out to them, and asks if they could leave the dam already. Lena and Finn walk away from the site. However, while Samira looks back, it is revealed that she has the demon inside her. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.